We gonna do this? Let's do it. The money where the mouth is. The money where the mouth is. What you got? Two buttons. Two? Two. Let's go. <gasps> Now you know you get to see the rest. Can you go for three? I can go for the whole thing, but you're gonna have to subscribe to the Longhorn Network. See it? I've always wanted to be naked in front of 20, 25 people. The Longhorn Network, the privacy you deserve. I'm Spencer Hall. I'm Jason Kirk. This is. Shut down Outback. This is bullshit whip back. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Big 12. The Big 12, America's Heartland Conference. Remember the Heartland, it's uh, except for West Virginia. I mean, West Virginia is uh, kind of the coal encrusted Tudor's biscuit rocket special and clogged kind of thing. God, I could eat a Tudor's heart right now. It's a conference of tradition. A tradition that goes back as far as 1996. Most of us were like 15 or 17 or something when the conference was born. Unlike the conference, you can probably drink legally, except for y'all, West Virginia. Not taking your corn liquor from your cold, dead hands, because I don't own guns bigger than yours. It's a conference with a play that plays exciting football. You got your quarterback, and you got nine or ten wide receivers over here, and eight or nine more, and like six of them fucking up on defense, and Coach is probably a wide receiver. There's a mascot out there playing free safety. Remember, only Texas plays defense because only Texas made it legal. That's because right. they run everything. By the way, in case you're wondering who this is, that's Pimp Cow. He owns the conference. He was sent here by the Longhorn Network. Make sure we don't get out of line. Speaking of conference champions, this is a conference of champions. You got Oklahoma. You got Texas. Of course you got Texas. Mm, got we Texas. Texas, they're really good. We said Texas. Texas, yeah. Then you have those schools that left. Yeah, those schools Some that left, them. like Colorado and Texas a and <laughs> We need to talk first of all about how we got to where we are with the Big 12. Which means that Pip Cow couldn't be with us as conference realignment is a bit of a soft subject for him. Remember, the Big 12 is essentially the Big 8, the old Big 8, uh, your, your big farm conference that uh, got a big pair of Texas titties bolted onto it. And then the titties took over its brain. And now Texas runs everything. That's the lesson. Don't get breast implants, you'll end up with a Longhorn Network. And as Texas's influence grew over time, it started to swell out other members of the conference. Texas and Oklahoma were thinking about going to the Pac-12. This happened every couple of years, and Texas Tech is probably lost somewhere in Nevada somewhere. Mizzou headed to the SEC, Nebraska to the Big Ten, Colorado to the Utah, and there's that school we don't talk about, because Pimp Cow's right outside. That'd be Texas a now eventually going over to the SEC. We're not saying the rest of the schools are necessarily those who take mescaline and get lost in the desert for years at a stretch, but they are the schools who take mescaline and get lost in the desert for years at a stretch. As it stands right now, the Big 12 has added two schools to beef up its roster. There's TCU who was, for a while there, they were in the mother whack. Way to go, Horned Frogs. Also, adding this year, West Virginia, natural geographical companion to the Big 12 and that it is mountainous, located in the East Coast and uh, historically in the Big East kind of orbit. But remember, if and when they add Florida State and you keep dreaming Seminoles, no. it's gonna look like this on a map. Not saying there's a conspiracy, but there's a conspiracy. Pretty clear there's a conspiracy. Now it's time for our semi-regular, quasi-annual weekly feature, the Big 11 Team! The Big 11 Twelve! The Big 12 and Team. So this is a list of things that TCU and West Virginia need to know about the Big 12. And that the Big 12 
and what and TCU uh, and West Virginia need to know about each each uh, uh, stuff you need to know about your relationship. You need to know this shit. Basically, one West Virginia, nobody's ever survived rabies without vaccination, except West Virginia. So don't let them bite you, even if you want them to. TCU, an interesting nugget about their on-field proclivities. They play defense, making two and a half teams in the conference that actually take a stab at it. About two and a half. Also, if a man from this conference knocks on your door at three in the morning and wants to tell you how proud he is of you, it's probably Paul Rose or your dad. Contrary to popular belief, Kansas does not allow skeet shooting in the second half during football games, but there's nobody there to stop you if you really want to. Texas fans, best in the nation. Polite enough to let you have the stadium for an entire quarter. Usually the first one and sometimes parts of the fourth. If your girlfriend or wife or neighbor lady becomes pregnant sometime this season, Dana Holgerson is going to demand a DNA test. I need to see the papers, son, before anything happens with that. Also, just a fact, don't diss T. Boone Pickens on Twitter. He will slam you back to geocities.com, bitch. Notre Dame, please stop writing your name in Sharpie on all the conference schedules. It costs money to print those. Remember, for sale on eBay, two losses for Oklahoma. Available to the highest bidder. We don't know who's going to get them until the last minute, but somebody will get them in the Big 12. And finally, it's been a long few years of conference realignment, but thanks to the media rights grant, everything has finally come. God damn it! Pit Cow just sold Baylor to the NL East! Pit Cow! So, time for a rare treat. Some ah. actual football content on Shutdown Fullback. Yes. First, power rankings in the Big 12. Power rankings! Power rankings! Oklahoma, obviously the pick. They're going to win the Big 12 easily. Landry Jones, superb at quarterback. Might even have a running game this Most year. Most importantly, but, mm -hmm. the Stoops brothers are back together! <laughs> Two brothers are back together! <laughs> the Big 12, we have Texas. They're going to have a really good defense, and their defense might even score enough points for them to win some games. Yeah, offense is going to give up 21-28 a game. Sorry about that, Longhorns, but uh, hook them. In third, predictably, we're going to go ahead and place West Virginia. Remember Dana Holgerson running the show there. Got Geno Smith at quarterback. They're going to score 70 points on many teams in the Big 12. You're gonna score 140 points on the teams in the Big 12. You might give up 141, but you know what? You'll enjoy every single bit of it. Coming into number four, K-State. Just with a roster bolted together of JUCOs and guys who graduated nine years ago and probably already played in the Major League Baseball for six years, they're gonna win 10 games. Yeah, I mean, seriously, got a tight end with tuberculosis, got a couple of offensive linemen with wooden legs. 10 games, including your cut rate Tebow, your 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 big lots Tebow, your tribulate post-tribulation Tebow, a bleacher report Tebow, Blebo, the Blebo, Blebo, the Blebo, Blebo, the Blebo, Blebo, the Blebo, Colin Klein. Next, Oklahoma State, Wes Slunt at quarterback, which it, it kind of sounds like a whole sentence. We Slunt, Wes Slunt, they'll only score 35 points a game, and that's a crucial <sighs> barrier for Oklahoma State. Why even accept the kickoff? I know. Next up, TCU! <coughs> Man, I, uh, uh... I forgot what we were talking about. Next up, Baylor! Man, I, you know, my, fine. Ooh, my conference with, favorites, especially with Robert Griffin III coming back. RG3 coming back for his scene... No? Oh, no, no, yeah. He's not? You sure? Mm-mm. No. Dan Snyder has RG3 now? Yeah, so uh, the Washington Redskins probably sixth or seventh in the Big 12 this year at best. I think Iowa State, all they do is someone up on a random Friday night. There's gonna be calls for a riot at some point in Ames this year. Bob Stoops? Look out, son. Texas Tech. so cold right now. 
And finally, that leads us to Kansas. Well, Kansas, things are turning around a little bit. Turner Gill Air is over. There's a whole host of BCS transfers coming in. Ooh, and um, who's the coach? They got all sorts of quarterback talent just no, 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 no. lined Turner, up. Who's, and, who's the coach? Um, He's got NFL experience, coached under Bill Belichick. Um, he coached in the SEC last year. SEC, big boy football, took Notre Dame to a BCS. Who, who's that? It's Charlie Weiss. God! coached in a Super Bowl. God, that fat piece of shit. Come on, you, you remember Jimmy Clausen? 